is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have another episode of WWE Action Figure Appointment. You guys can see. Let's let's get my dumb ass out of the way. We only need me to say what is good, everybody. After that, I can just go the hell home. Go the hell home, Brad. As you guys can see, we have a lot of stuff going on in today's Action Figure Appointment episode. If you guys didn't know, Action Figure Appointment is the smaller version of WWE Action Figure Surgery, usually about half the length, maybe a little bit over the 10 to 12 minute mark is what we're aiming to get to. It may go a little over if we run into some issues, but for the most part, we're going to try and get these switches done. I got a lot of stuff going on with it. You got that MDT Battle Royal Champion Ricochet in here. We got some Seth Rollins swaps, some Ziggler, some Murph and Turf. We got a lot of stuff going on here, guys, and I want to go ahead and dive into it so that we make sure that we get in that 10 to 12 minute mark because that's very important. So how we start off is just like WWE Action Figure Surgery, starting off with what we're going to do here today, and I guess we could start off, uh, blah, blah, blah. let's go ahead and just start off with Ricochet since it's not nothing any, you know, it's not nothing any special. So taking a look at Ricochet, guys, you're probably wondering what we're going to do, and honestly, I don't know what to do with it. I don't know what to do with it. I'm trying to figure out something because I do not like this black and gold attire. I think I have three of this figure, and I don't know what to do with it. I'm not big on this attire. I, I obviously, the, the lower legs are too long. The knee pads aren't on there. I don't really like the black wrist tape. I really want to get him a colorful or really cool attire. Obviously, I have my pink custom from MAC decals, but I want to do something else with it, and I really don't know what the hell I want to do. So if you guys have any cool ideas, I want to hear them because I am sick of looking at this black and gold attire. It's just really plain Jane, and I want him to kind of match this MDT Battle Royal Championship somehow and make it look good while, you know, while he's Battle Royal Champion until the end of the month when he puts that hoe back on the line or at the beginning of next month or whatever the hell the, the case is for the MDT Battle Royal Championship. I can't remember if I uploaded on the last day or the first day of the month, but Ricochet needs a new attire, man. I, I don't like this. It's garbage. So next up, guys, we actually have some things that we want to do, and let's go ahead and start off with my boy Dolph Ziggler right here. We have the Elite 70 Ziggler, and if you guys look on the left side of your screen, you will see that we do have the fantasy attire thing that I made forever ago. And today, I think I'm just going to head swap these because I want to see what this head sculpt looks like on this body right here. And I also want to get another, is it the black attire? I, I can't remember exactly what I needed black boots for, but I think I needed some more black boots. I already have the blacked out gear in the Elite 70, so I don't know what I'm thinking, but I kind of want to do a Punisher Dolph Ziggler attire eventually, and uh, I need to acetone all these designs off eventually, but I do just want to head swap these guys, see what that looks like, and uh, see what this head sculpt will look like on this body with this fantasy attire. And given what that looks like, maybe I'll switch up the arms for the white tape and then the white boots or something like that, but I do want to see what this figure looks like with this Elite 70 head sculpt on it. Um, and another one that we got going on here today, guys, is another head swap, and you guys will see the SummerSlam Seth Rollins. This figure, I, I love this figure. I think the Deadpool Rollins is what people call it. I think it's a fantastic figure, but I'm sick of it. I, for some reason, I don't have my Red Rollins, the Deadpool Rollins, with the Top Talents head sculpt on it anymore. So for some reason, I'm looking up there, I don't see it. So I'm going to take my Top Talents head sculpt and put it on here because this head sculpt is trash in my personal opinion. We're going to put this back on there and get that classic fix up that we've seen so many times around the community because it looks so much better than this head sculpt. I don't like this head sculpt one bit so I'm going to definitely switch that out. That's an easy switch up that we can get going. Another switch up that we got going is this Seth Rollins. You guys know the fantasy attire Rollins that we made on action figure surgery. This one's going to be fun because uh, I can use action figure appointment to switch out things that we may have thought about switching out and then we ended up not so today we are going to put the elite 45 arms on this guy seeing what it looks like if it looks dumb we can easily switch it back so i'm going to use action figure appointment to see what that fix up looks like and then we will go from there but that is what we got going on i'm going to put those white arms elite 45 rollins arms on this SummerSlam fix up fantasy attire gear that we got going on to match the white kick pads and i think that will look pretty sweet in the sd particles and then the last swap that we will do is buddy murphy now buddy murphy i have a really interesting idea for him here. Um, the first thing I don't want to do is I kind of want him to have the bigger arms because the dude's absolutely jacked. I see a bunch of people just putting the, you know, the Daniel Bryan style arms like you see on this Kevin Owens on him. They put the Matt Hardy style arms on him and I don't know how I feel about that because I feel like his arms need to be bigger. So I guess I can attempt to lower arm swap here with these two uh, and see what that looks like. Pretty much I want black tape arms on this Buddy Murphy and then we're going to switch the lower legs, knee pads, and kick pads with this Daniel Bryan. So we have this black and red 
look for the lower and then you guys won't see it in this video but I'm going to paint over the belt and I'm going to paint over the uh, the outside of the shorts and I'm going to try and make a red and black attire and just see what the hell that looks like. It may look stupid as hell but I do want to see what it looks like and if the kick pads and lower legs look stupid on it I'll just switch them out. He's still bloodied up from Hell's Gate. Don't attack me. So much shit going on Brad you know it's hard to get around to stuff but it won't it won't be hard to get that off so. But anyways guys that does it for all the swaps. We're just going to see how it goes. I really don't want to just put the Kevin Owens arms on here. I want to do the lower arm swap but we're running low on time guys so we got to get the hell into there and get this appointment going. So let's shut the hell up and start switching some parts. Alright guys we got the white trusty hair dryer. I'm going to bring in Rob right here we're gonna heat up these arms and at the same time we may be able to switch something else I doubt we'll get everything like you guys know what I'm talking about trying to get everything in one switch I just don't see that happening especially with these figures I'm trying to get the best possible scenario uh, I think this might work putting him this way because I try I'm gonna try and get this Rollins or both Rollins switches at the exact same time so we got that right there we're gonna have to put the top talents head sculpt in here right there again before you switch any head sculpts if you got one of those figures with a vest on take that damn vest off brad you don't want to you don't want to f that up man you will f things up if you do that so take that vest off put it far away from the hair dryer so it doesn't get that heat directly on it and warp it and then it's gone forever and then now we're heating up this head sculpt so this should be able to get everything hopefully hopefully this will get everything and we're going to be able to switch out all this rollin stuff uh, all in one take well let's go ahead and hit it little slight adjustment All right, guys, let's see if this is plausible. We're going to have to find out together here. Now, the head sculpt is probably the most important thing. And God in heaven, this is making me upset because this neck peg on the SummerSlam figure, it can be a hoe bag. So you want to make sure you get it off. We got it off successfully. Very interesting technique right there that I had to use. We're going to pop on the top talents head sculpt now. And then we will come back to our other guy. So there is that. Now popping these arms off just like so. And oh my God, that just stretched. I didn't like that. Good God, that that was that was Uggs, man. You know what? One and one may actually not be that bad, but God, that arm is probably obliterated now. That peg did not look good, man. It like was stretching and stuff. But there we go. We got both of our Rollins switches done. So now we're gonna move on to the Ziggler, I guess. We'll take a look at both of these Rollins at the end. So the next order of business is going to be the Dolph Zigglers. Now for this Dolph Ziggler, I am gonna remove the jacket just because I want to keep the principles. You guys know that I did describe moving any gear. You don't want to heat up the gear or any of the, the accessories because you don't want to F them all up. So now that we're doing that, we may be able to do some other things at the same time. I'm not exactly sure. If I play around with it, I bet I could, but let's go ahead and just see here. Maybe we can get all this stuff going at once. The lower legs, the yeah, you got you to make sure you pull the knee pads up though. So I don't know how well this is going to look, to be honest with you, but we'll find out together. Just kind of getting it in place like that. That should actually heat all that up together, but I don't know how we're going to get Buddy Murphy. We'll do the arms and God in heaven. You know, brother, we're just going to roll with this. Don't know how successful it's going to be, but F it. Let's go ahead and hit it. Alright ladies and gentlemen, let's pull the old dead gum hair dryer out of my face so I can get to the switches right here. Uh, I'm not really worried about the lower, oh my god in heaven, I'm not really worried about the lower legs, I'm more worried about the head sculpts of Buddy Murphy, Buddy Murphy, the head sculpts of Dolph Ziggler because I feel like his, uh, some of these head sculpts are kind of difficult to see, like the lower legs I'm not that worried about, I feel like we'll be able to get those off and possibly switch. The issue is going to come in when we have to switch out the head sculpts of Dolph Ziggler because I really really feel like it's not going to get hot enough. And what I might do is leave the knee pads off, switch the lower legs with the Daniel Bryan, and then uh, come back and do that. Let's see if this head sculpt, oh my god in heaven, what the hell? It's already pulling that damn good god in heaven. Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! We're just gonna move on. F it. 
We're moving on. The, Z the Dolph Ziggler swap is busted. It's busted. Really upset that I did that. Can't believe that. Why is this skin tone and that one's black? Why is that? Well, that's a bummer. Going over here, do the old Buddy Murphy lower leg switch with the black. That way the knee pads can go on way easier because you guys were seeing how I was struggling getting that knee pad on there. So now you can avoid that problem if you can get... See, now if we can get this these lower legs on here without the kick pad and the knee pad... Ugh, shit's not even hot enough. God dang, Brad. Oh, God in heaven. I cannot believe I snapped that Dolph Ziggler neck peg. God dang, man. That's so shitty. God dang, this shit's hot. Oh my God in heaven. Finally got that hoe. Now we're moving on to the other one where it's a skin tone peg for some stupid ass reason. Now we're coming over here to the Daniel Bryan, popping off the knee pad, popping off the other knee pad, pop this knee pad onto this knee pad, knee pad, knee pad, knee pad. Now this isn't going on. It's wanting to be a hobo. Get that knee pad on. I'm so pissed about that Dolph Ziggler, man. Damn. Alright, this knee this knee pad can go suck a whore face. Alright, got that on there. Now we're switching the kick pad. Other kick pad. All Alright, Buddy Murphy kick pads completed. And I can even switch out the Buddy Murphy kick pads for plain black or switch out the knee pads for different. The lower legs was probably the most important part, but I figured the Daniel Bryan would look okay. This is what we got going on so far. Again, I am going to paint over this and the shorts here, and we'll just kind of see how that turns out at the end here. But I do want to put black wrist tape on it, so I am going to switch these arms out with this Kevin Owens and just see what the hell it looks like. And then I'm getting the hell out of here so I can go kick my own ass for breaking that Dolph Ziggler. All right, I'm so mad at myself, Brad. Cannot believe I did that ish, but we got the Kevin Owens arms, and again, if these look like trash, like these, you know, these not as ripped up arms look stupid, then again, I will fix it later or something. And I know you're gonna say something about the tattoo. I, I'm just gonna acetone that off, not a big deal there, but let's go ahead and take a look at this Murphy right quick and just kinda see what he's looking like here. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but again, Buddy Murphy, his arms are jacked as shit, man. So I feel like it's doing him a disservice right there. I also need the Chase variant Buddy Murphy, so if anybody has that hoe, we need to conduct a football trade because I really want that figure. I really want the, the Chase variant with the black attire and then I can make some really cool gears out of that too like fantasy gear and stuff because I love Buddy Murphy I think he's a beautiful talent and he's fan freaking tastic but let's go ahead and take a look at everything we've got here today guys here is Buddy Football Murphy he looks okay you know again I think switching out the biceps with the more jacked biceps let me know down below should I switch out the bigger jack biceps or should I leave on the Kevin Owens ones obviously we got to ask on the tattoo I got to paint up some stuff but for now it's an okay base we also have our white wrist tape fantasy attire Seth Rollins I bet the freaking I bet the freaking 10 to 12 minute mark is long gone Brad long gone but there is our fantasy attire I really I don't know I, I think it could go either way you know if you want the SummerSlam arm on there that's cool if you want the elite 45 arms on there i think that's cool too i think this is a badass attire though i think it works out great especially with that elite 37 head sculpt we also have our deadpool SummerSlam rollins head swap with the top talents which we've seen in the past nothing special there but it is a beautiful looking fix up and then of course we cannot forget about the lovely dolph ziggler fix up which we conducted and look how good that turned out brad holy christ look at that headless horseman exclusive fantasy attire Dolph Ziggler looking like a fucking banger man that, I need to list that on eBay bro that's $600 at least but anyways guys I'm getting the hell out of here I'm so thankful that Dolph Ziggler turned out perfectly and the rest of them did too that's gonna do it for action figure appointment guys thank you so very much for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys let me know down below what you think of all the swaps should I use the beefier Buddy Murphy arms let me know down in the comment section what do you think of the white over the SummerSlam arms for the Rollins and uh uh, Headless Horseman Ziggler? I think so. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.